cheesecake is a luscious dessert made of a creamy sweetened cheese filling and is a restaurant staple. So let's start with the standard New York style cheesecake. It's really the cheesecake all other cheesecakes are measured against. It's rich, it's decadent, and it starts with the graham cracker crust. So I'll add one cup of graham cracker crumbs. And to that, I'll just add a couple tablespoons of sugar. I have a quarter cup of melted butter, pour that into the bowl, and just stir until the graham crackers are coated. And I just press the crust into the bottom of the pan. I've preheated my oven to 350, and this simply takes 10 minutes just to set the crust. So in New York, everything's big and brash, so think lots of cream cheese. Four packages, essentially two pounds of cream cheese, softened to room temperature. And now, as I'm beating the cream cheese, I can add a cup and a quarter of sugar, but I add it a little at a time, and I'll have to scrape the bowl a couple of times. Make sure you get right to the bottom of the bowl. Scraping the bowl often every step of the way is important to avoid any lumps in your cheesecake. Okay. The next few ingredients include three tablespoons of cornstarch. And the little bit of cornstarch adds to that velvety texture in cream cheese. two teaspoons of vanilla extract. This just heightens that flavor that's already there in the cream cheese. And now for the eggs. Three whole eggs, and then one egg yolk for that added richness. Now that I'm adding the eggs, I make sure I keep the mixture on a lower speed. I don't want to work too much air into the cheesecake at this point because it'll expand with the heat of the oven and then contract as it cools, and that's where a crack can sometimes develop. The last ingredient to add is the signature ingredient in New York-style cheesecake, and that's sour cream. Three quarters of a cup go in at the very end, and this just takes the New York cheesecake over the top. And there we go. And that's ready. There's really no visible difference to the graham cracker crust once it comes out of the oven, but you do want to give it time to cool before you add the filling. I have a crust already done and cooled. My final step is to take just a little bit of the melted butter and brush the sides of the pan. And here we go. Two pounds of cream cheese. Beautiful. And I'll just pop this in the oven. The oven at this point is at 400 degrees, and I leave the cheesecake in for 10 minutes. Then I turn the oven down to 225, cook it for another 25 minutes. Then at that point, I turn the oven off all together and leave the cheesecake in for an hour. Halfway through that step, I just crack the oven door. So by the time I pull out the cheesecake, the oven has cooled. Look at that. And you can see it's still got a little jiggle to it. I have another three quarters of a cup of sour cream. I just sweeten it up with two tablespoons of sugar and two teaspoons of lemon juice. I sort of half pour, half dollop it. And then ever so gently spread it over the surface of the cheesecake. Right to the edges. And I'll set this aside to cool to room temperature before I put it in the fridge to set. I have one already chilled. Now you have to give it a good six hours to set in the fridge. Believe me, a cheesecake like this is worth waiting for. Pop it out of the pan and it slides right off the base. It's always good to use a sharp knife wipe it off with a damp cloth, and then wipe it off each time you make a slice. That way you get those nice, clean, precise cheesecake slices. Gorgeous, look at that creaminess. Just a few fresh berries on there. 